Okay, I have a just returned an email. We had a mom who contacted us through Wrestlers Only, I guess it was. And um, I had her email me. Her son is younger, struggles in wrestling, loves wrestling, but he just can't, he's just stressed out, right? And she's heartbroken because he just can't win matches. And he doesn't want to go to turn him, tournaments. He wants to wrestle, but um, you know his confidence is crushed. And he just doesn't feel like he's progressing. This is very simple. Number one, let's teach, we, we, there's a lot of talk about rewiring your brain. Yeah, you, you can do that over time, I'm sure. But just rewire how you evaluate your matches. This is the perfect analogy. In cross country, if I ran one minute faster than I've ever ran, I'm happy. Even though I didn't qualify for state, I'm happy. I said, I had success. Now I'm trying to, I'm training for next year. Good. In wrestling, you're either a winner or you're a big fat loser. You, you have to find success in your losses. We call it closing the gap. I'm sure there's videos on our YouTube channel about this. But now you would take that little wrestler and you'd say, okay, this kid beat you nine to one last time. So he, let's see how he did that. Okay, well, he turned you in the third period. All right, you might drill the technique that, you know, he turned you with. Or maybe you just broke mentally and f tipped over, right? I mean, that happens sometimes, especially little kids. <laughs> So now, and you, he took you down twice in the first period. So now my goal, I will not get turned and I'm not getting taken down twice in the first period. That's the way it will be. And I'm getting mentally fired up for my matches, preparing myself for an awesome loss. Now, sure, if, if the gods smile on us and I beat this kid, you know, the whole, you should always wrestle to win. Yeah, maybe. But you know what? What we like to do is we like to reframe that where if I don't get turned and I only lose by five or six points or less, I will count that as a win, right? We even have some, I've had to take some kids and say, Here, don't even worry about your win-loss. Worry about your win-loss based upon our closing the gap philosophy. See, because now you can sort of be like the track runner and you can, you can start to work, of, work for, I did better than last time. We do that in the weight room, don't we? I'm not a loser because I can't bench press 190 pounds. If I can only bench press 150, I know I'm probably not gonna qualify for state. I have to be okay with that. But my goal is within four months to be able to bench press 160 or more. And I'm progressing towards that and I'm super excited. I'm pumped up going into the gym. Now the guy that can bench press 240, he's trying to win the state title. He's just as pumped up when he goes to the gym because he's not the state champ yet. He's got to get stronger, so do I. But my, my goal is not to be the state champ. And that's okay because it's stupid for me to think that I ever will be this year. I may have started late. Who knows? I mean, but basically be realistic Set realistic, attainable goals. These are action steps, right? I have told kids this. Your goal is to beat him in two years. You say, two years? Dude, if you're a first year 14 year old and you're trying to beat your teammate who's wrestled nine years, <laughs> I mean, let's be realistic, right? I remember years ago reading the Ohio State coach, Tom Ryan, said, well, actually, I didn't read it. One of my buddies who's a college coach told me that, you know, he knew the assistant coach, whatever. They said, two years, we think we're going to be, we're gonna, two years from now, we think we'll be able to win the NCAA title. So I'm thinking, huh, see, I have some parents, say, they can't even wait a day, you know. I'm like, dude, it's going to be two years. So here's a famous coach who says, we're two years away. So they're doing what? They're going into season knowing they're not going to win. Sure, they won a lot. I mean, they were like fifth in the nation or something that year. But they go into the season knowing that against Penn State and Iowa and Oklahoma State or whoever, we're probably not going to be able to beat them yet. But we're, we have our horses in the stable. We're redshirting great guys. We're trying to put size on this one. We're trying to shrink this one. We're trying to see if this recruit comes through. Then, two years later, they did win the NCAA title. And I'm sitting there two years later thinking, huh. So here, here's a coach who can go into a season knowing they're not going to win everything and be okay with it because they have a vision two years from now and it actually worked. And here we are as parents 
and kids, so we need to rewire our, the way we think. So take the approach of the track runner, try to set PRs, personal records, personal bests, and take the losing and winning out of it sometimes. And if I can take these little action steps and I can close the gap and find ways to do better, you take the stress out of it, okay? And the famous college coaches do it, and you need to do it too. Good luck.